Hello friends, I know it's been a while since I did a packing video, so I thought today I would show you exactly what it is that I have brought on a shoulder season trip to Sicily. I'm at the end of about, oh gosh, almost three weeks of travel, and I've brought with me just my Tom Vin Tekonaut. This is the Tekonaut 45, which is my absolute favorite bag that I'm using at the moment. So I'm gonna unpack this for you, and you're gonna see the reality of what three weeks of travel is. But here's the good part. This is not smell-o-vision. You don't have to smell how stinky this stuff is because I assure you a lot of it needs to be laundered. But this is reality. This is exactly what I bring as a tour guide. I've been a tour guide for 23 years now. I own my own tour company and I am on the road and this is how I live. So I don't just talk about packing light, I live it. So let's go ahead and see what it is I did on this trip. So this is Sicily in March, which means we have to kind of go from super hot weather sometimes, like today it's probably 70 degrees outside, to the top of Mount Etna, which was probably 30 degrees and super blustery. And even yesterday, but when we got to Chefalu, it was very cold. I would say it was probably in the high 40s. So we have to go a, a temperature range between maybe 40 degrees up to 75 degrees in some cases. So how do we pack a shoulder season bag? Well, it's about layers, mostly. So let's have a look and see exactly what it is that I've put into my wonderful backpack. I think I'm about 16 pounds, which is the kind of point that I say most people should aim for because at 16 pounds, you can still carry it on to almost any airline in the world. So here we go. Amonini, that is Let's Go in Sicilian. Let's check it out. Okay, first things first. So this is the Tom Bin Tekonaut 45. Uh, you can get this from tombin.com, T-O-M-B-I-H-N. You can see right there. You can also go to my website and you'll find a link there uh, for the Tom Bin shop. This is not a cheap backpack. This is about 400 bucks, but I think it's highly worth it because of this fabric it's made out of. It's made out of something called Dyneema that's really, really thin. So it's super strong and super thin, which makes the, just the backpack itself really lightweight just to begin with. I love the organization on it because we've got a bottom compartment for shoes, the main compartment for your main stuff, and then three separate compartments here, here, and here for anything else. And then the best part is, in the back, we've got a little zippered compartment here, and that is for my laptop. So I'll show you all of that. So let's go ahead and start unpacking, and I'll show you exactly what's inside uh, after I unpack the pieces. So let's start down here, actually. I have three pairs of shoes. So one pair I have on me right now. The other two pairs, we've got these. These are New Balance shoes that I think are cute because they have little, you know, leopard skin on the back. So one pair of regular, good, um, comfortable walking shoes. And then this was a little bit of a gamble. This is a pair of sandals, and I love these sandals. Turns out I didn't actually use these as much as I thought. I used these maybe two different days, but it could have been warm, you know? You just don't know at this time of year. It could have been warm enough to actually need uh, sandals. So these are uh, Taos, and they actually do carry my enormous size. I wear a 12. I am six foot two after all. Um, so these are my two pairs, plus I have another pair uh, that I will show you in just a second, which is all birds. So three pairs of shoes. This compartment I use just for shoes because it keeps the shoe mess uh, kind of away from everything else. This is also where I put stinky laundry. If I have something wet or yucky, I can put my shoes in that. This is the stink zone, I guess you could call it. The main cabin of my backpack. It's just a nice big open space. First thing that pops out is my pillow. So this is a down pillow, very well used at this point, that has a silk pillowcase. So it doesn't weigh anything at all and it squishes down to basically nothing. So you can get down pillows all over the place, but I would look for the cheapest one you can possibly find because it'll have the least fill in it. So I mean, this is pretty sad looking right now because it's squished, but once I wash it and then stick it in the dryer, it gets nice and fluffy again. But the silk pillowcase, this is mulberry silk. I think I got this from Amazon um, and it was maybe 30 bucks. And what's great about it is not just is it lightweight, but this is supposed to be better for your complexion as well, I guess. I don't know. Beauty influencers say that stuff. And I'm not a beauty influencer, so I don't know. There you go. So there's your pillow. Because these pillows here, they suck. They're terrible. They're like sleeping on rocks. So there's my nice soft uh, pillow from home. Okay, and inside I have my packing cubes. So this is the main packing cube. This is a Tom Bin product. 
uh, and it is actually intended to be that you put the clean clothes on top and you put the dirty clothes on the bottom. But I actually use it differently. As you can see, I have all of my clothes up here rolled like sausages. So these are kind of things that are knits, like tops. It's almost always just tops, tank tops, t-shirts, things like that. I roll, and then in the bottom, I have everything folded. So anything that needs to be a flat fold, I don't know where the zipper is, here it is, um, I put in here. So like, I have a dress in here, I have pants, I have a dress shirt, like a nice dress shirt that's folded nicely. Uh, so anything that needs to lay flat and stay unwrinkled, I put in the bottom. Uh, so that's just my use of this. It even has a little loop up here. If you wanted to hang it somewhere, you could. Okay, so that's the main thing. That's Those are all my clothes right there. Then I have some other things in here. I've got my uh, underwear bag. So this is just my stuff sack that has underwear, socks, bras in it. And then we have my Kindle, which I still bring with me because... I don't really like reading on my phone. Doesn't weigh that much. And then this is my bag full of like extra things like medications, contact lenses, stuff like that. So any kind of extra thing that needs to be corralled that's small goes in here. And here's my little bonus item on this particular trip. I'm trying to get in better shape. So this is a full size yoga mat, if you can believe it. It's super thin, it weighs about a pound. Uh, it's really a fabulous thing. If you're a person who likes to stretch or do yoga for travel, you know, it's wonderful. Jade Yoga. I have the, a thick one at home by the same company, but this is a really nice, it's a, called a travel mat. It weighs nothing and look how super duper thin that is. So it's really, really good. So I'm going to toss that on my floor so that I can do a little bit of stretching and yoga before I go to bed. Like I said, this is at the end of a trip, so there's a bunch of garbage in here too. There's band-aids and things like that. All right, in the top zone here, I have my toiletries kit. This is another Tom Bin product, which is their uh, toiletries kit that is a 411 TSA compliant package. Now this is old <laughs> and uh, it's pretty grody. It's pretty gross here, but um, it works wonderfully. You can just go ahead and, and toss it in the wash and it has a little um, hook on the inside so I can take it and I can hang it in the bathroom if I need to do that. So that's my toiletries kit. That's all that I bring for toiletries. And then I've got in here my toothbrush, which I love, love, love. This is a Sonicare toothbrush. Whoop. There you go. Sonicare toothbrush. It's a new um, version that is travel friendly. So that is what is in there. And then in this side compartment, again, another Tom Bin thing because they are the things that work the best. This is my extra bag. So this is a zippered uh, tote bag. You can use it for shopping. It has pockets for wine bottles and things like that. So you can use it while you're on your trip if you need a shopping bag. But what I'm gonna use it for is my souvenirs. So I am bringing home some coffee from Italy. I bring home a bunch of different things uh, and I'm gonna stuff this full. So this is my, gonna be my carry-on going home. And then the backpack I'm gonna check so I can put wine in it. So that's the plan. So that's pretty much everything. There's nothing in that other pocket. Uh, so there's a little unpack of the raw ingredients inside. So now let's have a look and see which clothes I brought for shoulder season. All right, this is everything. It's all laid out. This is everything I brought with me in my main bag. I'm actually not gonna talk about what's in my purse because that is a whole other topic. So we're just gonna focus today on what clothes and other things I brought with me. So let's go ahead and start with the shoes. I mentioned that I brought these New Balance ones. These are my typical walking shoes, super comfortable, and they weigh almost nothing. I think they're called Fresh Foam. Let me see if I can see. New Balance, yeah, and I think they're called Fresh Foam. They're really comfortable and they come in some fun colors. Uh, these are Taos and they're very nice, uh, super comfortable shoes. They're not quite as lightweight as they could be, but they're not too bad. Uh, so very comfortable shoes. I don't know that I needed these. I should have brought instead my Tevas that are super lightweight because I only wore them just a couple times. And then these are the real winners of this trip. These are Allbirds. They're slip-on shoes and they come in every size because they blend between men's and women's sizes. So I actually wear a men's size in, in Allbirds. And you might think, geez, red shoes, now that is a fashion risk. Actually, as it turns out, it wasn't because you can see the color scheme that I picked out is mostly black, white, and beige. So the red was really a good thing to kind of 
pop to kind of make my, my outfits a little bit more fun. These are made of merino wool, and at this time of year they're fantastic because they keep your feet really cozy and you don't need to wear socks with them. I actually don't wear socks with them at all. Um, so they were very, very comfortable on um, cold days. Uh, I wish the tread was just a little better. They do make some that have a slightly more grippy tread, but in general, these were the perfect shoe, I thought, for shoulder se season travel, uh, even more so than the others. I would still bring three pairs, just because your feet get tired of the same shoes every day. I have four pairs of pants that I brought total. I don't, I, I'm gonna give you a little like uh, too much information moment. I'm not wearing pants right now, just cause I wanna make sure you see everything I brought. Uh, these are jeans. I know you think, jeans, I can't believe you bring those, but these are my most comfortable jeans I own. They're a brand called NY or NDYJ, something like that. I get these at Nordstrom Rack. They are so comfortable. They're like wearing pajamas. I could wear those on the plane and often I do because they are so comfy and uh, I wear the heavy stuff on the plane. So it's okay to bring heavy stuff like jeans. Mm -hmm. You just have to think about just wearing them on the plane when you're in transit. These are wonderful pants that I got from a uh, Icebreaker, which is a new brand that I'm really uh, super excited about because they're merino wool. These are kind of crop pants, but they have pockets, good pockets. You can actually put stuff in those pockets. Uh, and they're really comfy and uh, merino wool is fantastic because it doesn't get stinky. And believe me, on this trip, I'm uh, pushing the limits of stinky. So for sure, I, I love all this merino wool stuff. I'm really getting very interested in this icebreaker stuff. Then we have uh, a pair of leggings that I use sometimes on the plane. Uh, sometimes if I just wanna put them under a dress, uh, I can wear them with all kinds of things. I have a long top I wear over the top, this blue top here. I wear over the top of it with a black jacket and it looks pretty good. But this also has pockets, look at that, pockets. You can find uh, leggings like this with pockets in a lot of different places. This particular pair is from REI and they're just Nice black leggings, they are so comfortable. You can also sleep in these if you need to. And then my last one was a little bit of a splurge. This is an Eileen Fisher piece, which as you probably know, Eileen Fisher is quite expensive, but when you find something you love, you gotta go for it. These are really super soft knit, and they have, they're long, they're ankle length, but then they have slits at the bottom. So they're kind of elegant, and they have a nice swish to them and it's a good color that goes with basically everything. So those are my pants, just four pairs of pants, that's it. And yes, I know that my guests have seen me in every one of these pairs of pants at least a dozen times, but you change it up with your tops. So first, uh, first of all, uh, my coat and my scarf. This is a scarf I bought in India. It's like a, I think it's cashmere, I'm not sure, but it's really super lightweight and it's two shades of tan, goes with this goes really well with red, which works for those red shoes, goes with blue, goes with white, goes with black. So this scarf works for absolutely everything that I have in my bag. And so that's what I always look for in a scarf is something that ties everything together. And then I've got a black coat. This is just an Eddie Bauer jacket. Uh, that's actually perfect for shoulder season because it has a hood, but it's like a stretchy hood and it's got, it's lightly padded with down. It's not a full down coat because we really didn't need a full down coat. It's partially down. So this is a really great length. It's, it's not a parka. On my previous trip into Rome in March, I brought a parka, but this is a good one. It's just hip length and it's got lots of pockets. So Eddie Bauer does good work and their coats are very, very affordable. So that is a good one. All right, tops. So I bring a lot of sleeveless tops. And the reason I do that is because layering is the thing that's important at this time of year. And also you can really change up the look of an outfit with a different color. That's why I have black, uh, that kind of gold color and red, and then I have a light blue one. So in this way, I can make, you know, I can use one of the long sleeve sweaters or jackets over there, and I can make a, a bunch of different color combinations. Also, these are really nice thin tank tops. This one is I think just from Target or Old Navy, and I can sleep in those. I personally just like sleeping in a tank top. So these can also double as pajamas. So. Um, these three are all about the same length. These are just kind of cotton stretchy ones here. I think this is from Gap. This is Icebreaker, which again, I'm super into Icebreaker these days because it's merino wool. So I wore this on the plane underneath my sweater. It kept me really cozy, but it doesn't get stinky. And it actually washed really easily in the sink and dried fast. So I'm super excited about this merino wool stuff. It's, it feels light. I mean, it feels 
not that much different, and the weight is more or less the same if you get the lighter weight wool. So yeah, very exciting. And then this is a shirt from Athleta. I do like Athleta. A lot of women wear Athleta traveling these days. Um, I don't like how synthetic a lot of their clothing is. Uh, it's a little, I, I like the natural fibers. They seem to be more comfortable. But this is a very nice long uh, sort of tank top, sleeveless top that I can wear almost like a dress. So I wear this with leggings. It's very comfortable. Uh, I have a black Eileen Fisher short sleeve boxy top, which goes with everything that I've laid out. And then this is a short sleeve linen shirt that I bought at Benetton. Now, just a little thing to know about me, I actually pack less clothes than I need because I know about halfway through the trip, I'm gonna be sick of everything and I'm gonna buy myself something. So I bought this for myself when I was in Catania at the Benetton store and it was a lot of fun. I went and I tried on a bunch of different stuff. I found this and this is gonna be perfect for my summer wardrobe as well. Short sleeve button up tops are fantastic because you can wear them in many different seasons and you can put one of these tank tops underneath if you want if you want to kind of make it a little more interesting or colorful or also if it's shoulder season when you might be warm and you might be cold that day so look for these and um, one that fits you in a really nice way and um, you can wear this as a jacket or as just a straight up top but the, the linen like this i love because yeah it's wrinkly but it's supposed to be right Everybody likes how linen looks wrinkled, so it doesn't matter. It's a great thing to pack when you travel because wrinkles are kind of its thing anyway. All right, moving on. I will show you what I've got over here. I've got uh, this black kind of, I think they call it an artist jacket. It's a button up black long sleeve shirt from Eileen Fisher, but this fabric it's wool, but it's a super, super thin and lightweight wool. So it's warm and air, but it's airy at the same time. This has been my favorite piece that I brought on the whole trip. It's gonna go with me everywhere now because even in the summertime, this would be a perfect thing to bring with you in the evening because it's really lightweight. It's just got this band collar, mandarin collar. The only thing I don't like is that it's pilling. It's brand new and it's pilling. So I'm not happy about that, but otherwise I would say, look at, look at Eileen Fisher if you like shopping there for this extremely lightweight wool crepe because that is a great travel item. And the natural fibers, I think, always keep you less stinky and more comfortable. Um, here we have my other big purchase for this trip, which is a Land's End cashmere sweater. Now, you can do all kinds of things with cashmere sweaters. I like the button-up cardigans because, again, you can use it like a jacket and you can layer it really well. Land's End makes more, let's say, upscale cashmere sweaters. This is really thick and look how nicely made it is. It's got this tape on the back so that this part doesn't stretch out. The ones from Macy's are not like that. The ones from Macy's aren't, aren't nearly as nice. So this was not cheap though. This was I think about $150. It's an investment because I know I'm going to use it all season and look at that. They come in tall. This is an extra large tall and I am a six foot two woman who needs long sleeves. And these sleeves actually really work for me. So if you want a, a higher quality one, I recommend Land's End. But if for just your average usage, the ones from Macy's are okay. They're just a little more prone to falling apart. Uh, here's another thing I love bringing on my trips. This is an Eileen Fisher piece, but I bet you could find something like this even, even at Target. It's, look at this, it's kind of an open weave sweater. Because it's very sheer like this, Anything you wear underneath it is going to look really interesting. So what I've been doing is taking this red top and wearing it underneath. So then when I'm walking around town, you can see the red peek out from underneath the black, which is great with those red shoes. So I can change up the tank top I wear underneath it. Also, I can wear this over the top of a dress shirt like the ones here, or I can wear it over the top of a dress. And it's three quarter sleeve. So it kind of works for all different seasons. So look for something like this. Doesn't have to be this one in particular. I think I got this actually from Thread Up. It's a used piece, but I think you can probably find something like that. Just meshy kind of lightweight uh, sweater you can throw over the top of everything as yet another layer. And then I have two long sleeves. Again, this is the end of the trip. So yeah, I know it's a wrinkled mess. This is uh, what they call the artist jacket from Eileen Fisher. Very, very, very lightweight cotton poplin with just a little bit of stretch. And it's a very nice piece that goes over everything. Although honestly, I didn't wear it much because it was never exactly warm enough for something like this. But you can layer, I, I do layer the tank tops underneath it, but nice 
simple piece. And then another piece I grabbed while I was here because I was bored and I hated all my clothes that particular day. And this is just a nice long sleeve, super lightweight cotton shirt from Benetton. This is almost sheer. It's such lightweight cotton, which is perfect for this time of year. And it's a fun pattern, but you see that pattern goes with all those pants I brought. And it even, you know, the blue and the black, the primary colors go with the funny red shoes. So it all kind of works together. Uh, so I think it's important to not just bring boring neutral clothes, but bring stuff that, have, that has a little personality, a little pop. This is cotton poplin with stretch in it. So if I eat too much pasta, it's still okay. It works fine. And then I had two dresses, which was honestly magical thinking. I didn't need two dresses. Um, this is just a simple black dress. Actually, I got it at Target. <laughs> and it's a very well abused long black dress with spaghetti straps with a little ruffle at the bottom and it has pockets. So I'm probably gonna wear this tonight at our last night dinner. And this is a really fun dress I bought at Zara in Morocco a couple years ago that um, is made of an ultra light fabric. Uh, it's a cotton, but it weighs absolutely nothing. So even though this is a huge dress, look at this, it's like a maxi dress situation. It still doesn't, it doesn't weigh anything. It, it packs up really small and light. So this is your hot tip. When you go in shopping and you're thinking about buying something, use your fingers. I know I've said this before, but use your fingers because if you feel it and it feels really lightweight, uh, it's going to be. And you know, it's a little sheer, but not sheer to the point where people can see your underpants. So you want these really lightweight cotton poplins. So that's pretty much, that's all my clothes. That's all I brought with me for the last two weeks. So I'll show you now the sexy part of the show. What kind of underpants did I bring on this trip? All right, so now we've got the underpants part. Uh, so my dedication to travel journalism only goes so far. So these are the clean ones. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the ones that still need to be washed. So the numbers are actually different than what I show here. I actually have two bras. I have one on that's just a regular beige bra that with an underwire that I really like. And then I bring a comfort bra. I always bring a comfort bra or one of those kind of t-shirt or a, a shirts that has a bra built in like a tank top. This is from NYX. I'll show you the label K-N-I-X. They also make uh, underpants that are really smart because they have an absorbent layer in case you get an accidental period. They're really good to have on hand if you um, might be worried about that. But this has no, it's just stretchy. It's got no clasps, nothing. You put it on over your head. The, the straps are really wide for your shoulders. It doesn't make your boobs look awesome. I'll be, I'll be honest, but it's comfortable. So it's great for the plane. Uh, I have the other one that's more structured on. It looks better, obviously, but that is comfortable. As far as underpants go, uh, we have my all my all time favorites. These are called On Gossamer. Let me see if I can get that. There you go, On Gossamer. You can order these through Amazon if you go to my website. Uh, I think Nordstrom carries them sometime. They weigh literally nothing. Look how sheer this fabric is. So you wash them and dry them in like an hour, basically. So I brought about four pairs of those. And then I'm experimenting with something new, which is wool underpants. So these are merino wool, again from Icebreaker. I, this is the first pair I got. I bought these at REI on sale. I just got them, pulled them out of the, the shower from drying. They took overnight to dry, but they're clean. They are so comfortable. They are incredibly comfortable. And the reason I recommend these now, these merino wool underpants is that, let's be honest, ladies, we got to take care of our nether regions. And there are uh, bacteria that can build up with synthetic underwear. So a lot of the, the underwear that's recommended as travel underwear have synthetic materials in them that don't let you breathe down there. It's not good stuff. Believe me, I've learned the hard way. So Icebreaker makes these. The other pair that is not here is from Allbirds of all things. The people that made my shoes, they sell merino wool underpants now as well, and they're cheaper. These are quite expensive. These are gonna be about 25 to $30 a pair. I did get these on sale. I got these on clearance at REI, and, and then uh, Icebreaker had a sale a few, a few weeks ago. So look for sales. Otherwise, the Allbirds ones are, they're not as nice. These are much nicer, but they are still merino wool for the most part, and they are very comfortable. Socks, I brought two pairs of just these little socks like this because I don't wear socks with these, and I only wear socks with these. So little ankle socks, those work just fine. And then the other thing I always bring, compression socks. These are wool compression socks. They're from Sockwell. And I bought these, I think, at Ex Officio. 
and they are fantastic for flying on the plane because they are really good for your circulation. But also, I can wear them with my jeans and I can wear them with my, my cashmere sweater and my wool tank top and I can be extra super cozy warm. These are also great for long museum days when you're on your feet because the compression helps your blood recirculate. So I highly recommend always bringing a pair of these. They don't weigh that much and really what you get out of them is pretty great. So there you go, that's everything that I have to wear except for the really dirty stuff. So for toiletries, I'll go over this in a separate video, but basically I try to stick to this and I found some fun ways to do that. You can see in there, I have my face cream I got in Thailand in these tiny little packets and I just refill those. Um, I have the little uh, tin right there that has my medications. And then I have a couple of things in here that are new. I'll just show you, but I'll go over this again in, a, in a, another video later next month. Uh, there is this, which it was sent to me as a gift by, by one of you guys. I don't know who it was that sent it, but I got it for Christmas. And it is um, face powder that has a brush in one end. So it's your brush and your face powder all in one, and it has an SPF of 50, I think, which is great. And then the other big find, when I was in Dubai, I went to ask at Sephora, what is the best uh, waterproof, smudge-proof mascara? And the lady who had on a ton of eye makeup sold me this one, and she was right. So if you can find this one, it ain't cheap, but it is the best mascara I've ever tried. Doesn't flake, doesn't smudge, lasts all day. And then, per usual, I have my Color Revlon Color Stay lipstick, but this isn't just a reminder of a hot travel tip. This is Italian toothpaste, Marvis. I love the Marvis toothpaste. They taste really nice. Um, but the reason I wanted to point that out is that I forgot to bring toothpaste. I was just absent-minded. So I went to the pharmacy as soon as I got here and I got a toothpaste I like better than the one I was originally gonna bring. Now, I can't take it home, unfortunately, because it is four ounces and I haven't used enough. So I will have to leave it here. But this, along with conditioner, that was the other thing I left at home. I just went to the store immediately and bought them. And any country on earth, practically, you can at the airport or at the grocery store find toothpaste and conditioner. So don't worry if you forget stuff you might find something you like better because I like this better than Crest. So that's what goes into my backpack. And again, this was about three weeks worth of stuff. And honestly, I like this so much, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna wash it and repack it for my trip to Morocco because it's the perfect combination of clothes that are for warm weather and cold weather. And anytime you travel between, let's say, late February or early March, up until about mid-May, you really do need to think in this way because layers, 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 that's the only way to, to get through shoulder season travel anywhere in the world. So I hope you've enjoyed my packing tips today. If you are interested, you can find more, inf more information on my website, adventureswithsarah.net. Also, if you love my packing videos and you've watched them all a thousand times, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash adventures with Sarah. That's how I pay my mortgage. So please, if you would consider subscribing uh, at a low level, it, you wouldn't believe how community support helps pay my bills. So please consider that if you can. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's really helpful as well. Uh, it encourages me to do more packing stuff for you. Next up, I'm going to do a video when I get home about what goes into my day bag. And also I'm gonna do a reboot of the uh, Box of Awesome, which is our uh, safety blanket little kit that solves everything. So stay tuned. Uh, this month we'll have more videos out. So thanks for watching. Ciao.